Hey everybody, I just want to give you a little update on what I'm doing here with my car. Uh, today I am changing out the steering column and hope that it, uh, I can get it to match up with the rack today so that I can pull the car out of the shop and actually steer with it. It's not going to be running, but I need to push it off the lift because I got to get the BMW in here to do um, an oil change and um, I got to fix the exhaust. Part of it came loose and it's rattling, so I got to do that. Can't have my car rattling like crazy. Um, see, the engine here is in a state of disassembly. Been fitting things, trying to get the radiator to fit right. This hose is just a little bit off on the angle and get it to go pretty close, pretty close. Might need to make a custom hose in the end to get it perfect, but this actually fits pretty well once I once I get it on there. Sorry I'm out of breath, I've been carrying the parts and tools back and forth across my extremely messy shop. This place is such a, such a fucking mess. It uh, just induces a ton of anxiety. But what we have here is the NA intake manifold. A lot of people have used this and found out that they get some decent gains on it and um, pretty much across the entire power band, which is pretty easy to believe with a nice, long, large sweeping runner and the plenum there at the front. Uh, one thing that's interesting about it is that the cylinders, they're paired crossways. And if you look at the firing order, it's one, three, two, four. So the firing order goes like this in the plenum. And Killer B did the same thing with their exhaust on their header where it comes out here. They rotate the firing order in the header, which is a really good idea. Now, MAP didn't do that. MAP went kind of crossways um, on their header, which is a bummer because um, I like the header. I like the dimensions of the piping on the header and everything else. I just wish they had the same rotation um, of pulses in the exhaust. So they go like across like this, this weird Z shape, X shape through the header. I don't like that, but here on the Subaru one, nice circle. Each of these 90 degrees or 180 degrees apart. So that's pretty sweet. I like that. Um, so yeah, a lot of guys have had good luck with this manifold. It's not the manifold for 900 horse easily. Um, it's more difficult to do that. Other manifolds flow more, but for a factory offering, and if you're looking for torque as well as spool and horsepower, it's a good upgrade. It flows like 15% more, I think, than the STI manifold, if I recall correctly. I think it's like 15%. It might only be 10. But, you know, a little bit, a little bit. Plus, longer runners, better shape plenum. They're not facing each other. I really like the way um, this manifold is set up. Now, there's a lot of work to do to this to make it fit TGVs that go to this engine, right? This, the TGVs... Um, uh, for the turbo application don't quite match up on here. The outer bolt's the same. This bolt and the other bolts. Oh wait, is that right? I'm trying to recall which way it was. A um, couple of them are off. This one is way off. This one here is way off. And I think this one is in the right spot. And then these guys are doable because IAG puts the, the nut in there that slides. And so you can get those in there. So really, it's just this bolt here. But this is sticking out, and this is sticking out. And that's not normally an issue, but it is for me because I have two sets of injectors going in here. And this injector's got to pass this right here and right here. So I have to cut this away and get it smoothed out um, so the injectors will fit on both sides in here. <clears throat> the other thing, this is a GC. This manifold doesn't fit GCs normally. But because I put the VA WRX cross member in here, it actually lowered the engine about 10 millimeters. So it dropped the engine on 10 mils, millimeters, which is great because that gave me the hood clearance needed for this manifold to clear the hood. So now it clears. So that's pretty exciting. Unfortunately, it did reduce the amount of space I have below it for turbos. So that was that was a little bit of a loss there. But um, I'm using pretty small turbos, and I think I can get them to fit. Still working on that fitment. So I'm, been a bit of a challenge i do have to modify the cross member a little bit i got to cut a spot out for the oil pan to fit correctly <sighs> with the low mount turbo oil pan i could use um i could make my own oil pan for like a dry sump the normal killer pan fits that stuff is all good 
but since I'm gonna have turbos down there occupying space, I need to change the oil pan shape. I went, hey, I'll use the 2010 Legacy pan. That mostly fits, just a slight modification needed for that, but the cross member does not fit it, which is interesting. You would think that the engine that had the low mount turbo before would fit the cross member that had the low mount turbo, but it doesn't, because one's from an FA and one's from an EJ that has low mount. So uh, yeah, so that part kind of sucks. But again, today, my ultimate goal is to pull the column out and put in the 07 STI column I have. 07 STI was one of the early years with CAN bus. Um, the reason I need it is for uh, what they call the resolver, which is the steering angle sensor. So I need to get the steering angle sensor on the CAN bus to talk to the computer for the steering rack. That guy right there. That's not its mounting location, it's just sitting there. But that computer needs to get on the CAN bus. I also have, for shits and giggles, a ABS motor for a 15WRX. I don't need it, I don't think I need it, but I kind of want it um, for two reasons. One, I have less to rely on the MTron for to put information on the CAN bus for the rack to work. Um, so if I use the 15WRX ABS motor, which has some of the VDC stuff in it, it has the wheel speed decoders in it and all that stuff, then I think that will be advantageous for getting all this stuff on the CAN bus. Now, that being said, I have no idea if it's gonna fit. Um, I know that the, the lines are different. Um, these four lines are in a straight line on the 15, and these two do come on the side, but they're spread apart a little bit. So those will probably be easy, provided it's still the front and rear on the side to spread apart. These will be a little more work to make fit uh, because it is in the line. If I can go grab it for you. Like I said, this place is trashed, completely trashed. Gives you so much anxiety. Way too many projects going on at a time. Now, I could, in theory, run all new lines for my, uh, I got, Oh, house project stuff going on, boxing in a, or uh, framing in a window. I've got just too much stuff going on, too much. Um, so yeah, so that's the difference here. We got these four in line, these four staggered. Usually they're labeled, but these aren't labeled. I don't see a label on them. That's a shame. This one you can see, front left, front right, master, you can see that it says, oh, master one, master one two, and rears. And I don't know what these are. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. That's gonna be, that might be fun. I don't know. Um, it is a slightly more compact unit, which I'm not really hurting for a lot of space up here. Um, but it also has a big bracket on it because it's not mounted here on the other car. It's mounted there on the other car so if i was to redo these lines i could put this up here more and use this space for other stuff like intakes or turbos or you know intercoolers or whatever i mean this bracket here shoot it almost fits right here I mean, there's almost two spots right here on the frame for it this is a little high but you know what i'm saying there are things that could be done it back actually move that reservoir put it where the reservoir is i could get it down here attach it to one of those two mounts back there and it would potentially fit up there i don't want to because then i go to the wiring and all that stuff but it's always a possibility who knows all right well that's where i'm at i just wanted to give you that update have a good weekend